All right, today's video, I just want to go over a little information on the physical crypto. So what happens if you got physical crypto and you want to load the physical crypto, the Bitcoin on there yourself, and then if the time comes that you want to redeem that uh, Bitcoin off of that physical piece. So, you know, I got some nice pieces I store uh, physical crypto on, but for this video, um, I bought a nice little paper wallet and kind of used it just as a, a sacrificial piece, so to speak, because I uh, reveal the private key later, you know, in the video. So, you know, we don't want to do that. We protect them. This wallet I'm never going to use again. I just wanted to share with you guys. So stay tuned and we'll walk through it. All right. Good day, everyone. What I wanted to talk about today was a couple of these things I have received. So one thing I have is one of the MyBit series physical tokens. This one has 0 .001 Bitcoin. It's a beautiful piece by Mr. Mojo Rising. And then, of course, we talked about on the back, we got the seal underneath here. Which This is just a, another beautiful token. Um, but the seal underneath there, we, we would have our private key. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. It was kind of, you know, um, it's a great way to store Bitcoin, but if we ever come to need, you know, how would we redeem that Bitcoin? So another thing I received is uh, this little paper wallet, which is kind of cool. This is from Crypto USA. Um, you can find him on Etsy and also on eBay. He makes these by hand, these paper wallets. And I reached out to him, and of course he doesn't keep the private key, and everything's done offline in a secure manner. But what I wanted to do was actually uh, go through how to load this and verify. We got the uh, public address here, and you know as you can see on here it says public Bitcoin address, right underneath the QR code. Verify and load, so we can walk out and like how we would do that. We can load some crypto on here and then verify, you know, the amount that is on there on the blockchain. And then if we want to redeem it, of course, you know, we'll have to do so with the private key that's under here. So that's what I wanted to go over today. So uh, stay tuned and we'll walk through each step. All right, I'm going to start out here in the uh, Cash App. Just instead of using one of my other wallets to move around, this is just another layer that it's a quick and easy way, and the fees aren't horrendous, but they're not super cheap either. So if we wanted to buy Bitcoin, we can do so here and say today for this uh, demonstration, we want to select buy. We want to do a one-time order. Let's see if it'll let us buy $10 worth of Bitcoin. All right, so we want to confirm what we're going to do is it says total Bitcoin purchase, 978, we're going to get 22 cents fees. We want to confirm this. All right, so we have 0 0.0048397 BTC on our Cash App online wallet. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to send this uh, Bitcoin. And how much do we want to send? I'm going to send the full amount. So this is the QR code, so I need to copy this code. Back to Cash App. I want to send this full amount. Now we're back to the address. It's already in there for us. Bitcoin wallet address, it recognized it. Yes, that is it. All right, so we got our address in here. We want to go to next. Now, of course, this small amount. Huh, it won't let us do that. It wants a big fee. Anything under 0 0.001, we do this here. Let me buy some more Bitcoin.
Now let's see if it'll send this amount. Want to send point zero zero one two zero nine seven six. I won't. I can't select that whole amount. I gotta type it in. If you know the trick to that, let me know. So here's our address again. I'm gonna go next. We'd just like to have standard for free. Next, confirm to external wallet. We want to verify that it is our wallet address, which it looks right, the first and last few digits there. We're sending 0 0.00120976 Bitcoin, $24.43. Let's confirm and send this for free. Okay, so now that we've sent that from our Cash App, you know, to this public wallet address, now our Bitcoin's on this paper wallet. And then to get it off here, we need to reveal this key. And then we'll have to, uh, I'll show you the steps to get to get it off of there. But just keep in mind, it would be the same thing for this one. I do have a public address that came with this. So we would have sent it to here, which this one already has the, uh, the funds on here. And then the private key is under the hologram on the back. So we would need to peel to, to get the private key to go to our next step. Okay, I got a notification on my uh, from my Cash App that the transaction did make it to the wallet and it's now verifiable on the blockchain. So I just come over here to the blockchain.com uh, website and I can hit the search here. All right, so we got the search bar open and we just wanna paste in that address, that uh, public address that's on our paper wallet. Okay, so we paste it in. So we want to go search that. Now it did find that address. It says there are two blockchains with the result. With this address, we want to look at the Bitcoin. Okay, so here it is. This address has transacted one time on the blockchain. So it was its first uh, activity and it did receive a total of 0 0.00120976 BTC or $24.52 uh, from that $25 purchase we did on Cash App. So it is on there. So we did verify that our purchase price or purchase of Bitcoin from Cash App and we sent it to the wallet address listed uh, on here. So that's good. That that's in there. So we did. We've done a few things now, right? We've bought Bitcoin. We've copied the address to our cold storage. We've sent the purchase Bitcoin that we purchased on Cash App or wherever you purchase it, and we've actually sent it to that wallet address. Now it confirmed on the blockchain uh, as indicated by email alert uh, from Cash App. So now we've actually went to blockchain.com and verified, in fact, that that BTC from Cash App we sent, it did arrive to our cold storage wallet. Okay, so remember we uh, moved our Bitcoin off Cash App and we now have it on this address. We verified it on the uh, blockchain. So now, what we wanted to go over is we could store this, just keep it on here as is. Or if we came time we need to redeem it, then we would need to reveal this private key. Um, I have not done this yet, so we're going to do it together. Okay, so this says to scratch to reveal the private key. And just let me start off by saying you never want to show your private key, of course, to anyone or have it online, exposed to the internet or any pictures. It's totally secret. You want to keep that away from everyone. This is for demonstration, so this wallet will never be used again. So this private key will be swept and not used, just for the sake of an educational video. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and try to reveal this private key. It says to scratch it. Okay, so it's more of a peel. And scratch check it out that's pretty cool so it does have the dark color very good security seal and looky there there is our private key 
So now I'm going to show you how we can reveal this or um, import this private key. And I'm going to use a Exodus wallet, import this into an Exodus wallet. And then once we get the Bitcoin in there, from there we could either keep it in Exodus or we could send it to a wallet of our choice. But for right now, I'm going to use Exodus. I'm doing all this by mobile um, phone. So it's a little unique. I mean, not everyone has a PC. So this is a good, easy way to learn. But the Exodus is very user-friendly. So that's the wallet. There are other wallets. Um, there's You can do it on Mycelium app um, and many others. So, But today, we're just going to use the Exodus. So stay tuned. Verify. Okay, we're in the Exodus app, so we want to go to Bitcoin, select Bitcoin, we want to select the gear up in the, uh, on the right hand side of the center up top, and then we want to select the top option, add Bitcoin from private key. So we want to scan our private key, which should be right here. So we want to select import. Yes, so we do want to move this import. Okay, success. We moved the point zero zero one one seven one seven seven BTC to your wallet. Okay. So now we can go back. We can look at our wallet and the amount of Bitcoin did increase. So that was a success. Very good. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that helped. I know it would have helped me. Um, just kind of learned to go through that myself and wanted to share. So just a quick summary, you know what we did. We, we bought Bitcoin on Cash App and uh, just it was a simple way to do it. And then moved it to the physical wallet Whichever physical wallet you want, it'll work for any of them or wherever you have your Bitcoin, you can move it there. And then once it's on there, how to verify the amount got there, you know, looking on Blockchain Explorer or wherever, um, whatever you, you choose to use. But we verified it was there and then we moved it off, right? So we, we have revealed the private key and we found uh, a program. I, I used the Exodus app, just did everything mobile and revealed the private key there and then imported it. So it's in the Exodus app, um, wherever you import it into, of course, I don't, you don't have to leave it there. I could leave it in the Exodus app if I wanted to, or uh, if if we chose to do different, we can move it to any other app of our choosing, right? Just typical Bitcoin transaction move. So thanks for staying tuned and I, I hope it helped you guys. Take care.